Greetings, pumpkin pies! It's your favorite not-so-mad scientist again with another day of spooky science. But no more waiting! Today we are going to be throwing candy corn, marshmallows and some other Halloween candy up in the air. We are going to create some catapults today. What do you think about that? Well, we are going to need some candy corn, marshmallows, some popsicle sticks, some bottle caps, and some rubber bands, and hot glue. Please make sure to ask for help to an adult, okay? But first, we need to understand the basics of a catapult. How does it work? What do we do? How, how does it throw things in the air? A catapult is a really old weapon that was used in wars to throw stuff like big rocks, like really big things to the, to the enemy field without the use of explosives. So it was just pretty much physics. A catapult will work on energy. Energy that is created, stored, transferred. And with this experiment, we will see it happening. For the energy to be created, we first need to apply some force to it. But this force is going to be proportional to the size of the object, the mass. If it's a big and heavy object, we're going to need to use a lot of force to throw it. But if it's a light one and a small one, we're not going to need that much force. In our case, we're going to be throwing candy corns and marshmallows. Marshmallows are pretty light, they are not so heavy. Candy corns are a little bit heavier. But they are not so big too. And what we're going to do is use a scientific method to make predictions of which one is going to go furthest, which one is going to go higher, which design we're using is going to make a better catapult, which one is going to throw it further. So back to our catapult. Catapults work by transferring energy from one place to another. So when you pull the stick down with your object in it, you are applying force and by that you are creating energy. And this energy is called potential energy. And this potential energy will be stored on the stick that you're pulling down. The moment you let go, the energy is going to be transferred from the stick to the object that you are throwing away. So now that you know how catapults work, let's create some designs and find out which one's going to be the best. But before that, I want you to take a paper and make your predictions, create your hypothesis. Which one's going to fly higher? Which one? Which design is the best? So you're going to put on the paper everything that you think is going to happen and then you're going to test it. Then after testing, you are going to write down your results and see which one worked the way you thought was going to work. Are you ready? Let's go. First design you are going to create is this one. It's a really simple one. You're going to need four sticks for the base and two for the catapult and rubber bands so you can attach them together grab your sticks and put them together like this all piled up use the rubber band to make them all nice and tight together now grab two other sticks and you will also use one rubber band to tie them together but only one this time. Okay. Now you are going to open these sticks together like a scissor, like scissors or something like that. You are going to put it like this. Now you are going to ask for the help of an adult. Grab your bottle cap and your hot glue and put it right here. And that's it. Your catapult is done. Your first design is ready. For our second design, we're going to create a little bit more complicated one. Okay? So for this next design, we're going to need nine popsicle sticks, two rubber bands, and the hot glue. First, we're going to glue our sticks together like this. Now we are going to create an X on the top of the space here. After you've done that, you are going to glue sticks like this. On this part of your catapult and on this part of your catapult. After that, we are going to glue another stick right here and right here. Now we are 
gonna grab a rubber band and go from this side to this side, like this. You're gonna grab another rubber band and put it right here on one side to another. Grab your elastic and place it right here. And grab your last rubber band and put it together on one side. Another. Now glue your bottle cap right here to work with your basket. And that's it. And now let's go shoot some candy in the air using our catapults. Let's start with our candy corn. <laughs> what about this one? Let's try this one with a marshmallow. Okay, what about a heavier candy corn? Whoa, that was far. See, you can have lots of fun with physics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this experiment and we're going to see each other again tomorrow. Pumpkin wishes and candy corn kisses.